Sweat. Hey, you got anybody here from your shift yet? Okay, because um, I need a team. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I might be taking some of the uh, first shift people and using them. So, there's going to be a couple of them that's going to run a little late. Alright, uh, the here, Cap's here, so they already know. Alright. Alright, just don't want to stop on your grass. Alright. Right. What you call that? <laughs> Let me go out here and go talk. Ah! You give him the run? Oh, I'm getting the mop. He wants the glove. because I didn't want things to escalate, but he's refusing to give it up right now. So right now I'm just trying to wait and see what the ship supervisors can do, but I didn't want them to have to go in there and do a cell extraction if, if we didn't have to. So I tried to do some reasoning with him, some negotiating, but it didn't work. So he's refusing and he's want, he wants the, them to come in there on him right now. So that's what we work, we're at right now. We can't go any further until he refuses to give it up. So it's up to the ship supervisor right now. You tried really hard. I mean, you really worked it. Yeah, because I don't like them to go in and get, if I can try to de-escalate the situation, I will. And that's my whole purpose of trying to de-escalate and try to get them to compromise and work with me. But sometimes it doesn't go that way. So I know that, you know, we're, we're back down here in SAG and you're still here. Um, how long have you been down here? Um, a year and about a year and four months. About a year and four months? Yeah. How do you handle being in SAG a year and four months? Sometimes I get stressed out and I act out, but other times I really don't pay attention to it. So what does a kid do with all his time in a small cell like this when you don't get out? Really don't got nothing to do. But I don't really let it bother me until I really act out. 
And do you kind of know when you feel like you're going to start acting out? Can you feel it building? Tell me about like the anger you start to feel. And I just, I just get real, I, re I get real mad, and I tell the officers that I'm about to get mad, and then I'll just start acting up. When I walked away, he he real, that's when he, I think he knew it was they were gonna come to him. But he wants to. He got the gun because he wants. He's been saying that he wants Benchheimer. He wants to be other officers, and here they go. They're gonna go in there. They're suited up. I do not want this to happen. Unlock door. Unlock door. Tyler, so, 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 
friends. It's a restraint's tight. Let's do a friend one. We are friends, boy. Make sure you scoot him up in the chair. I'm telling you, it's not a game out here, boy. It's not a game out here, boy. Jackson, we ain't gotta go here, Dad. Oh, okay, okay. What you mean we ain't gotta go here? You ain't got me put a body bag in there. What's happening? Why are you why are you upset? Jump, 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 jump. What's wrong with you? Why are you upset? What's happening? Why are you upset? We don't need to come and get you. Come and get you for what? Going on, baby. Going on, baby. He has been a lot of problems since he came to the facility. Um, he has been changed to different units um, before he came down to B. Then he was transferred to the control unit. Um, before when he came up to the control unit, he stayed in our padded cell for a while. Um, he's destroyed, tried to destroy state property. He just he didn't have, he has over restitution to the state for destruction of state property. I mean, he's really been a handful. He's just started coming down these past few weeks. Um, in a day, it just because he didn't get a radio because we just did the new radio system where the upper levels are getting radios and he tore a book up a few days ago and he tore a school book up and that was destruction of state property so I told him that he would not more likely get his level his uh, next level which is a level two where he could get the radio and he got upset and that's when I tried to escalate the situation by telling him we can do a week to week evaluation of his behavior and if he has a consistent positive behavior then we can do probably do a level change and give him his level that it was he was past he was past that point then he was already had geared himself up he was already hyped up ready to go so I couldn't calm him down he was already set in his mode and I think because the camera crews was here and uh, and then the officers some of the officers he has problems with were here so he just and then the, it doesn't help that his peers seem to join in and make him hype him up a little bit more so he really got into himself and just refused and he already shut down so any communications I was giving him, he's already had shut down on me. Down here is a constant struggle with these offenders because you have to get them on a good day. If you get them on a bad day, this is what we'll get. This is what we'll get. It's that one. Do you hear me, boy? 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 Hey, push him down in his waist. Push him down in his waist. There you go, push him down in his waist, push him down in his waist, push him down in that chair, I want him in that chair. Push him down in that chair. It ain't one, it ain't one, it's not a game, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, don't fold, it's not a game. Watch that shirt, don't pull it too tight. It's nothing, I'm telling you, I'm telling you what. I'm telling you, boy. I'm telling you, boy. Huh? Huh? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, boy. It's not a game. Seven folks, it's not a game. Ah. Captain to break our arms. Hey, supervisor, check, check those restraints, please. Make sure they're 
Anthony uh, We need to get a neck collar for him. He's trying to headbutt people while he's in the chair. Alright, he's good. Okay. I got finger in everything except for that waist strap, and that's because he's pushing up. I take all of his leg restraints and his arm restraints. Now since over tight. Okay, push it off. Go. Push it off. I know the last time we were here, they ended up extracting you from your cell because you had a broom in there, or a mop that you didn't want to give up. Explain to me what it was like, if you remember going through all that, what it was like when it was happening. I, I've been cell extracted a lot of times, and, and I, um, it just was another time for me. I mean, it, my adrenaline was rushing too, too fast. I couldn't, I couldn't really tell what was going on. Is it scary when you know they're getting ready to come in? No. No. What are you thinking when you see them round in the corner? That they about to come in, I got to protect myself. So what were you doing in your cell when you saw them getting ready to come in? What do you do to protect yourself? I just get, I just get myself hyped up, get my adrenaline rushing, so I can be ready, prepared to wrestle with them. And, but then it was shortly after that you were calmed down, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you feel about interacting with, you know, the officers who are on the unit, and how does that go? Sometimes it's good. Sometimes I don't like them because they, they when we're behind your door, they really got a lot to say. So what brought you into? the Department of Corrections to begin with. How old were you? What did you do? I was 13, about to be, uh, about two months from being 14. And I, I had a long history of being in the system and I had a lot of batter, uh, battery charges and I had a lot of battery charges and I just was non-compliant. I had a lot of stuff on my record and I kept running the streets and stuff. And the judge, like the police knew about it, but they never take me in it. Yeah, they'll just they'll just write it. They'll just go back and write it down, and I would never know about it. And they was keeping documents on me. When I go to court. Now. So what made you act out while you were at home? I mean, it, it wasn't really the parts at home. It was more when I went to school, like interacting with other peers and you know, the back, you know what I'm saying, wrestling with the teachers because I went to alternative school. Do you know where your anger comes from at all? No. Sometimes I just like to be angry. Have you felt that way for a long time? Yeah. Since you were little? Yeah. What do you miss most about being out? My family. Being out, I get to do the things I want to do. What do you want to do when you get out of here? Uh, get my, get myself straight so I can live, live good and live right and, and stay out of trouble. How do you think your mom feels about you being in here? Is she around? She wishes I was home and wish I wasn't getting in so much trouble. Do you ever talk to her? Yeah. When was the last time you talked to her? Do you remember? Like two months ago. So you haven't talked to any family member in two months? Yeah. What about your dad? Is he in the picture at all? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So what does he think? How does he feel? Just saying he wish I was out and he tell he try to give me advice and other alternatives to try to get me to do good. Finish getting my education and What about brothers and sisters, do you have any? I got I got three brothers and two sisters. So how are they? They they good. They they they, they try to get me to do good because I'm the youngest. You're the baby. Yeah. And you're the only one that's been in trouble? More or less, yeah. So when do you think you're gonna get out of here? If I do, if I, if I do everything like, I, like I've been doing, doing good, I'll probably, about another three to four months, I'll be out of here. So in total, you've been down here in SAG 
in SAG over a year? Over a year. So once you leave SAG, they'll put you back in general population? Yeah, on a, like a higher level than I was. Try to get me out of here quick. And then how long do you think it'll be before you're actually released from Pendleton? No, no more than four months, but probably less. So you could be out by summer? Yes. Okay. Anything else you want to say at all before we take off? Any of your thoughts at all about anything? No, besides, I mean, this facility, I mean, I mean, it helps me. It helped me really to realize that me acting out is not going to get me nowhere. As far as, like, treatment-wise, I mean, it really, they don't really give us a lot of treatment here. But as far as them showing us, like, us acting out is not going to get us nowhere besides the trouble, that, that helps a lot. You got, like, some officers that, that talk to us and try to get us to do good and they actually care, and then you got some officers that don't. That's just the way. Well, good luck. We hope you get out of here. Thank you. Okay.